You know, this kind of stuff. So At looking... least... Oh, finding the Phoenix in the top lane. Illusion trying to solo kill. A bit difficult, though, against this Phoenix. And now Retsu shows up. But is this a bait? Nefrit turns around, gets the silence. For you here. Dawnbreaker joining into the fight as well. Not quite uh, getting in all the way. Is that Solar Guardian? Doesn't go through because Proletary actually cancelled it with the Primal Roar and gets a return revenge kill. Well, loses life in the process, but he does manage to buy it front here. That has been scouted out first. Pikachu leading the charge. Illusion is here. Little script is also there for you, blinking out. Illusion has been spotted. They're trying to clear out the uh, Illusion, uh, sorry, the Dominator Creep. Illusion misses the Avalanche, and here comes the Egg, and is there anyone to target it? No, there isn't. Illusion is down. Egg will pop on the side. Ulti used for a uh, zoning ulti. We're hoping J-17 would have answered that, but now Nefret going closer. Pikachu coming in for the side. Now they're scattered. They already thought that the fight's over for you and Retsu coming back, but is it too late now? They come to grave with the Beastmaster, and there's the Dawn ulti as well to follow up with the stun, and that will take down Proletary. Retsu on the side, but they got the CK jumping in as well as the Devil. Devil taking a decent amount of damage, but the CKs also have HP. They do have a little Siphons coming in as well. Lil Scrip in the middle of all this has a Starbreaker available for the TP Council. One, two, three, and that's going to be a double kill for Pikachu, and Phoenix will be falling as well. H for them. Strolling around, Coral of Terry almost killed by that second Illuminate Blast. And help is coming from the side. Oh, from the back, Nefret is in points, and so is Illusion. They're cutting the escape route. There's the Primal Roar, but the Avalanche will be catching one. And they've got the Phoenix trapped inside the tree line. Where are you gonna go, Birdie? You can't really got no dive. He's in the middle, does get the Grave out, he's dead. That should be a follow up as well. The Grave runs out, double kill for Illusion. Three enemies in every single direction. Here we go, Paradise actually wants to jump on Retsu. CK already getting a lot of early damage, and the stun combo perfectly combinating there. But a nice Sonic Wave on three as well. Lil Scrip and Nefrit very low with the tree line, so is the CK. Lil Scrip and Proletary both go down. They will take down the Phoenix for you. Juking the CK around in the trees, but goes for the blink to safety. But Illusion finds him, but it's just the Tiny. He needs some backup. This Tiny's about to die. Silence comes out in time. The Vessel's gonna be there as well. The tree flying in, and Paradise four seconds stun. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's that. They have to even get to the parts of the map they, that they have Dyer's to play. Middle tower is under attack. A lot of traffic Radiant heading towards bottom. They've got the vision placed down. Pikachu right on top of the ward, but it's smoked up and now will be revealed. But the silence comes out first. The cast range on the caudal is too much to deal with and one HP. Basically, the reality of Rift secures the kill in the end. You have a good attack. placed ward down here, but Proletary Retsu. Who do they kill here? Okay, they just roared the tiny right away, but he doesn't have red super for the damage now because it gets tossed away. Maestro getting pummeled by Paradise, and the Illusions will clear that out. Lil Script soloing the Beastmaster on the same time. Illusion fighting Phoenix. There's five separate 1v1s going on basically here, and four of them. And there goes your golem. Golem, you're gone. Cooldown. 60 second cooldown on the uh, Exorcism 40 on the CKE. They if they don't fight right now, they're gonna these have Dawnbreaker joining in the fight. Bristol almost going down. Illusion coming to the back line. They've got Maestro, the Dazzle in the middle of the fight. No Grave anymore. Nothing available. Sonic Wave connecting onto the side. They're going to take down Pikachu. Paradise is pretty low on HP. Does have the Aegis ruined. He's still on Nefret. Look at those Siphons go. Look at this DP, the unkilled hero in this game. And definitely not even an unsung hero. Absolute unit to this DP. Chasing Retsu away. Lil Script might burn down to 4U, but Proletary is dead as well. Percentage is low. Dyer's top top is under one seven eight are still, uh, you know, might be a little bit limited because that's how they've been playing for the past 15 minutes. Go with the fight initiation efforts there. The Dawnbreaker is going to be landing on the bristle back. Doesn't actually get all the way through because that Aghanim's increases the duration by so much that he's not going to be there in time. But Red Suit and so he's still dead. Lil Script getting burned alive. A lot of dots. There's the egg on the back, but they're just going to dodge this one. It's way too far. Three versus four. No Dawnbreaker. Nefret blinking in. BKB of nothing you can do. Phoenix down, tossing the co-op in the air into the hex. There's a grave save. 
Ezekiel's being used as well, and the silence from Nefrit to follow it up, and that is for you. Graveyard. There's the GG call. 34 minutes, and J178 close out game one. HF could have uh, GG'd this game out once they went for a five-man push in the clock.